don't mind the black screen it's only gonna last like five more seconds um it's just an error that happened when i was cutting something out it took away a lot from the beginning so don't mind this all right enjoy the video what's going on guys welcome back uh everyone's getting tired of this intro but uh subscribe to this channel if you like the video like it if you liked it just like it if you didn't uh just let me know if you like the editing um there's also a discord down below let's get uh let's get into this so first of all we're gonna need rp obviously rp necessity for your first life but right now i'd say let's just try to get some basic money so what we want to do is we want to get four basic iron mines um all like this and then inside the middle of it put a cell furnace now we're gonna be making about 40 dollars per ore so that's that's pretty good it's about a times 20. you could always grab these rp crates on the sides of uh your base or anywhere across the map honestly it'll it'll definitely help you out a lot but what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for when we hit five thousand dollars and we're gonna buy a research center so i'm gonna see you when we hit there all right, so once you have your basic research center, I suggest that you place it down somewhere around here on your base. Um, I'm going to place mine right here, and then we are going to get some conveyors. Now, we're going to go into this shop. We are going to buy four silver mines. We're going to withdraw all of these basic iron mines. And then we want to put our silver mines. So once we get enough for $25,000, we're going to buy a gold excavator. So then we'll be able to rack up hundreds of thousands really, really fast. Okay, so let's buy the, uh, the gold excavator now. So guys, um, pretty much now place down your gold excavator right around here and just start spamming the hell out of it. Wait till you get about a hundred thousand. Um, and also, uh, what we'll need to do is let's get let's get about twenty or so. That's that's the main goal here to get twenty military grade conveyors. So I'm just gonna start out with ten, but I think twenty is a good it's a good you know goal. You just need ten military grade conveyors. You're gonna place them all along here. Now these are really fast. That's why uh, that's why we're gonna be using them. All right, so we are gonna buy those uh last 10 military grade conveyors you're gonna need uh 12 military grade conveyors for this um you could always put more it's just wow. if you want to make this really perfect then please do that so now in order to get this to work we're gonna need about 19 silver mines all right so now we're gonna be making a lot of rp all right so now guys we're just gonna farm this until we get about one million dollars so all right so guys we have hit our goal of 900 and uh 50,000. I guess we might as well just hit 1 million because the badge. So let's just do that really quick. All right, there we go. All right, guys, so we just unlocked the super rare tier items. That's really cool. Um, But we have a few goals now. Uh, one of them being Quantum Research Center uh, or maybe even the um, Research Center. I mean, it does require a lot more money, but definitely produce a lot more RP super fast. Also, I suggest you go into here. Just, just turn off the RP notification. I just think it's pointless to keep there. So now now you'll still be RP, but you just won't have it there. I recommend what you do is go into the dropper section. Maybe get your hands on like a remote diamond mine. Uh, let's get some more cash really quick. Go into the furnaces and buy a cell incinerator. So now we could get rid of this. What we're gonna do is place this at about the same space. So now we're making bank. What we wanna do though is uh, place this a little farther out. All right guys, so I suggest you buy a few more of these and place them down. So we're gonna place two more 
and uh, let's get into uh, grinding uh, these. Alright guys, so now that we're at a, a reasonable amount of money, um, I say that we buy another cell incinerator. Place it down at not, not too big of a distance away. I mean, these are only four big, so let's do that. Buy three more remote diamond mines. So let's equal this out. And then we're going to place them around there. So now we'll be making just double the profit with not too much more space. Also, do not forget, upgrade your ore limit every once in a while. It really does help out, believe it or not. So guys, once you get $45.2 million, I suggest you go into the furnaces tab and buy the industrial diamond mine. What we want to do now is get rid of all of this and just place this right around here. Now, we're going to need to go into the, uh, the, the mines tab. Let's just type in 99 for uh, coal mines. And do the same thing for the military grade conveyors because these are amazing. So just buy as many as you can. Let's basically now just put a line of these going right in here. Now, if you don't know how uh, industrial diamond mines or just industrial mines in general work, they require coal to create the ore of. Uh, like their uh, their variant so the industrial ruby mine creates ruby when it's fed uh coal same thing for diamond it just creates diamond so it's it's a pretty it's a pretty simple uh thing here but we're gonna put this right under it now go off to the side of your base not too far away and place down about five of these on your base Pick them all up in move mode, and then just start pasting them in, like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, now let's uh, let's fill these in. Fill in those spaces. So, I am currently using 31 uh, coal mines. Alright guys, um, I'm just gonna tell you this now, I was having a bug where my ore, uh, my ores wouldn't go above 50 total ore count. If you're having the same issue, even though you upgraded your ore limit, just rejoin the game, it fixes it. Alright, we are coming up to 950 million already? Holy crap. Uh, alright, now let's buy the cell processor. Let's uh, also move everything back a little bit here. All right, guys, now we're getting uh, $8 million ores. Oh my god. So we already have enough to get that uh, that quantum uh, research center that we wanted. So I'm going to try to figure out how we could make this work. Uh, I'll let you guys know when uh, we get a good and efficient uh, grind method with this. All right, so guys, uh, from what I can tell, this is a pretty efficient way to do it. If I were you, just use, um, so we're using eight on each side and then one on the end. So that's about 17 uh, plutonium mines going into the, uh, the quantum research center. I mean, you could always upgrade it to the, um, to the research center, which I don't think would be a bad idea. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. So we are gonna place down one of the research centers all right so guys right, i'd say now is probably a, an, an okay time to uh, get rid of these items right here because i just don't think we need these anymore um but nonetheless we are gonna need to buy some things so if i were you go into the furnaces section buy one of each uh teleporter if i were you get two of the senders All right, now we're gonna go into the shop. We're gonna buy four plasma iron polishers, 15 conveyor ramps. So these are gonna just be used for uh, making conveyor turns, I guess. About 30 portable ore advancers. We're gonna place these in some sort of uh, loop or something, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Buy just any amount of uh, nuclear conveyors. It doesn't really matter. They're just conveyors. If you feel like it, buy some conveyor walls. Now, uh, the main thing we need to see here is uh, ore value. So we're gonna buy one ore tracker. We're gonna buy about 
Mm, I'd say I'd say two is a good enough amount of way up high upgraders. Also, don't forget to buy your large converter ramp because you're gonna need one. So start off by placing your pink teleporter. Oh, wait, I almost forgot one thing. I almost forgot one uh, one thing. We need to get an ore gate. So buy an ore gate. They're really cheap. They're only about five million. So place your pink teleporter receiver. What I do then is just um, place down about three of these uh, nuclear conveyors, then get a large converter ramp. Now we're gonna place two way up high upgraders, another nuclear conveyor, and uh, now I'd say I I'd say it'd be good to use something pretty just basic and simple um like uh like an or gate with a pink at the end i don't want to do anything too like complex for this i don't want to do like a circle loop i just rather put two nuclears and an or gate so the ores go through really fast now press z on that or gate what we'll do over here is in the very back, right over here, we're gonna put down our opal mine. I'm gonna put a nuclear conveyor right under it. Put an ore tracker. And then your pink teleporter sender. Then you could get out your blue sender and put it right over here. Once you think you have enough ores in the setup, you could press C, go to toggle mines and turn off that opal mine. So, if I already just sort it by newest or by tier and uh, disable those mines. So, once you think you have enough ores, I'm gonna keep mine going for a little bit longer. Now, get out your blue or teleporter receiver. Put down your four plasma iron polishers. Now guys, if I were you, go into the shop and buy one radioactive refiner. That'll be pretty useful too. Place that right there. Um, alright guys, um, I'm not gonna go with anything like a, a reinforced furnace or anything honestly too wacky. I'm just gonna go with a basic, uh, good old quantum processor. Uh, it's a pretty good furnace. I think it does 8 times 4, I'm pretty sure. Times 4. So, it's a pretty good one. I'm gonna go ahead and disable my mines now, and we're just gonna wait to get, um... Just gonna wait to get all of these ores to start blinking in here. All right, guys, so it looks like all my ores are now maxed out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and toggle this ore gate. So just toggle it and then all the ores are gonna stop. So what you guys wanna do is turn off the ore gate. What we're gonna do is uh, put one of these right here and then just put any along the way as well because it's, it's not gonna do anything but make this a little bit faster now you could resume your loop uh you have to wait until they go through these about 10 times because um they have to hit both of them uh and this one 10 times because you need to total at 30 then they'll start blinking once they start blinking we'll stop this again and we'll send the ores back uh to the furnace like we are uh usually doing now the ores are um flickering so that's good so we want to toggle this flip these around you're gonna get a lot of money from this by the way so be ready send the ores through hey we're at trillions now let's go so a few things we want to do right off the bat. Kill these ores off, because we just don't need them. Toggle your mine back on. Flip these back, and uh, untoggle your ore gate. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave that right over there. Uh, first, I'd say put this right here. Get rid of this stuff. Just move that off to the side. And put this pretty far from where everything else is. Now, we're going to buy a Sacrificial Altar. Now buy a Freon Blast Upgrader. And then buy a Centering Conveyor. If I were you, move these out. And then place down your Centering Conveyor. Now, uh, we could put our Freon Blast Upgrader. 
And now I'd say let's buy some digital ore cleaners because they're not too expensive, but they are really good if you know how to use them right. The way I use them is I usually put about three nuclear conveyors before each one. So put sets of three nuclear conveyors uh, in a pattern similar to this. Hold up, we're gonna have to move everything outwards. All right, now guys, um, once you've used your three digital ore cleaners, go ahead and um, start looping. Once again, just toggle your mind once you think you have enough. But for right now, I think we are all good. All right, so guys, I'm gonna go ahead and disable the opal mine now. Now is just to wait for the Freon Blast Upgrader to start um, flickering. Alright guys, so once uh, the Freon Blast Upgrader is blinking, if I were you, just throw in some portable ore advancers on the sides of the conveyors and just wait for those to start blinking, and then we'll send our orbers into the setup again. For right now, uh, I think I'm going to upgrade my furnace to a natural spring, which if I'm doing that, I'm going to buy a large conveyor ramp now. Also, I do, I do see that flickering, so that's good. Uh, that means our ores are done. So let's now put the conveyor ramp, put natural spring. Let's go ahead and toggle this. G. Watch this, money boys. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so I want you guys to buy a few painite mines. You don't have to buy too many, but painite mines are really good for uh, later, like, endgame setups for uh, low life players. So I do suggest you get it. Now, um, I recommend that you guys buy maybe seven or eight more freon blast upgraders i'm gonna go with seven um i'm also gonna buy about oh, no. Oh, no. i'm gonna buy three no. advanced ore scanners and three cursed ore purifiers as well so let's go ahead and over here put your three cursed ore purifiers Now get rid of all of these digital ore cleaners. Move every one of these sets back by two tiles. And now fill in the spots, uh, the spots, fill in the spots with um, your seven Freon Blast upgraders. So now you should have eight in total. Flip these around because you know, you need it for looping. Open up your ore gate. What we're gonna do is Withdraw this. Just start sending your ores in, guys. And then, uh... Alright, now, guys. Once you are done with this part, go ahead and put the portable ore advancers in. This just kind of gives it an extra couple times multiplier. So, I always recommend doing it after the Freons are done being used. Because then again, you aren't taking away the potential uh, money. So now, guys, before we send our ores to uh, the furnace... All right, guys, yeah. so uh, what you want to do now is go ahead and move your radioactive runner off to the side. We're going to put our three advanced uh, ore scanners in. The reason I'm using three is because sometimes the ores don't always hit it the first time and sometimes even the second time. So no matter what, though, it's always going to hit it by the third, usually by the second. But I, d I do want every ore to, uh, to get in there. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to put our radioactive refiner back. Put the uh, sacrificial altar uh, right there, and then uh, send the ores in. Watch this money, guys. Watch this. Thing my toes. Boom! Quadrillions. What we're going to do now is we are going to throw in about, I'd say, no more than two or three Schrodinger evaluators after these scanners. Actually... I'd put these before the scanners, to be honest. The Schrodinger evaluators are um, pretty good. The more of them that you, that you use, though, the the more like the wacky that your uh, ore values could become. 
Once these are done, we'll place down the portable ore advancers uh, like we usually do. And uh, yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, throw in our portable ore advancers. Cause uh, you know, they're, they're pretty good. Now once these start blinking, we're gonna send the ores into the setup. Once you guys are uh, ready, send your ores into the setup. Let's see how much we get. None of the ores died or exploded from the Schrodinger's. What? That's not possible. Oh my god, I sent in like 80 ores or something, and none of them got hit. Alright, so we managed to get uh, almost 5 quadrillion. So, as always, we're gonna buy a few more of the Schrodinger evaluators. I'm gonna buy three. That seems like a reasonable number. Uh, just to put them... Into the end of the line. That, that's like a literal perfect fit. Oh my god. Switch these. Move your portable ore advancers off to the side. Alright guys, now I'm gonna throw in my portable ore advancers. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at my cache! Holy crap! Alright, so guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little something here. These conveyors go really fast. By the way, I don't know if you uh, noticed, but I bought I bought oh, more, I so I think I'm using a total of ten. Yep, I'm using 10 Schrodinger evaluators right now. Um, I do suggest that uh, that you uh, use uh, at least 10, because they will help you out a lot. They are really good. We're going to put a basic conveyor right here. Uh, but because they're so fast, we're going to buy maybe, th let's say, 10 just wall segments. It, it could be any. It doesn't matter which wall segment. Just make sure uh, it's just one of the basic ones, like this. Put another one right here, just in case uh, you want to be extra careful. And then we're going to put our ramp. Just like this, so... And it's going to turn. If I were you, please upgrade your 8 Freon Blast Upgraders to 8... F uh, to only get 7 Fire Blast Upgraders. Don't get 8, get 7. Um, also, get some flaming ore scanners. They're a lot better, believe it or not. So, we're gonna buy... Let's only buy two, because the, the beam moves faster on this one, I'm pretty sure. So, we only need two. Listen, so, <laughs> what you guys want to do is take all of these, except the last Freon Blast Upgrader, away. Now, put your uh, Fire Blast Upgraders in here. But you have to keep the last Freon, because that's gonna take the fire away from the ores. So keep that in there. Uh, I should probably switch these around now that I'm at it too. All right, so we're not gonna be using advanced ore scanners anymore. Instead, we're now gonna switch from three advanced ore scanners up uh, up to uh, two um, flaming ore scanners because they're just they're just a higher multiplier overall and they'll give you way better results. So we're gonna use the, uh, those. Um, we're gonna use the same furnace because it's a really good furnace and there's just no reason to change it. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get looping. The loop is gonna be worth the same amount, by the way. I just want you guys to know that. It's just a faster version of the Freon, uh, but it sets ores on fire, so that's why I put this right here. Guys, I almost forgot to mention this. I nearly forgot to, uh, put in my... my radioactive refiner. That could have been pretty bad. Oh my god. All right, so um, now we're nearing one quintillion dollars already, so that's that's awesome. What we want to do is put some demo, like, test ores into the setup. If you want to know how to do that, it's really, really easy. All you have to do is just do this. Um, uh, we're going to uh, move these the off to the side. Now we're going to teach you how to demo, like, dummy test ores, pretty much. Uh, what you want to do is get a ore cannon. This is going to be really, really easy to do. Don't worry. This is going to be super worth it, though, in the end, because we're going to get a lot of money from this. Now we're going to go look up Ion Field. We're going to buy one and see if it goes the Rue. If it does, then let's buy... 
Let's buy some more. All right, so guys, now what you want to do is uh, put down four ion fields. What I want you to do is go into the shop once again, buy four orbital upgraders, and then what we're going to do is we're going to place them at a, at a pretty basic spot. Just place them right here. Now you'll get the upgrades from these without having to place extra conveyors. So it's really good. Just do this. Super dope. Now we're going to place back our flaming ore scanners and our radioactive refiner. Now buy another flaming ore scanner just because the ores are going pretty fast. You kind of want to make sure that no matter what, this does work. Place your radioactive refiner. We're going to go into the shop. We're going to buy a dream maker and place it down. All right, so it looks like the ores managed to get through this successfully. We could now remove the mine, and uh, let's start looping again. Hey, we got three QN. All right, all right. So if you guys, so if you guys do manage to get QN, but it's not enough uh, QN to rebirth, all you got to do, and this is a really good thing to do, get three portable macro waves, or just how many, however many you can, all the way up to six only. Don't go past six portable macro waves. I have enough for three, um, and I don't often use more than three, but still, three is uh, three is just a three is just a fine amount. Also, get three or however many raise your conveyors. At most, you'll be using three um, because you could use two on each side. So what we're gonna want to do is put all this off to the side. Grab the converter. You could do this. What you guys want to do is you want to grab your large converter ramp, your uh, your portable macro waves, and uh, put them on some raised ear conveyors. All right, um, let's uh, try this one more time. Switch these around, remove your portables, and send in your ores. Oh boy, we got a lot of ores. Please tell me this is enough. Hey! 35, 35 QN. Alright, let's see. Will I get a shiny? Let's pray. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're testing out the reborn item I got. It's really good. Uh, I'll put the stats on the screen. Um, I, I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Once again, subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't, and uh, let me know if this was helpful to you guys at all. And also, comment any other videos you guys would like to see from me. Thanks, and peace out.